downtown LA. It's the Little Jolly Gamer Show. Boom shakalaka. Yo, welcome back <laughs> to another welcome episode back. of the Little Jolly Gamer Show. This is episode 116. And we're all rappers today. We're all here. I'm Brandon. Blood. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Brandon. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Steve. And uh, hey, you know what? Know. Before we even, know. but <laughs> before we start the show, I want to thank you right now for listening to the show and share it with anyone and everyone that you know that Muchas enjoys gracias. video games. Everyone. You go to church, you're shaking hands, you know, Not you're, you're the same. shake hands with your neighbor. Hey, li- little Jolly Gamer Show, you should Wash listen to hands. that. Wash your hands. When you Wash your hands. hands. Yeah, be page. respectful of everybody. Wear your mask Wear or whatever it is. You know? Noise, yeah. Um. And you know what? You, you go to the pet store to go buy some pet food for your, your dog, and you see Crazy Cat Lady, or you might see Steven there. You say, hey. <laughs> you might see me. I don't know. Little Jolly Gamer Show. Older. You should listen to this show. So anyway, thanks so much for listening. Share with your friends. It means the world to me. What but episode is this? Did you say th- that? Yeah, it's episode 116. Okay. We have a bunch of other episodes you can go listen 69? to. And chances are, if you found this on your favorite RSS feed, all of our stuff is probably there. So yeah. go listen we need to, to it. We need to backlog the lost tapes. We do. Yeah. Uh, I have a plan for that. I say we as in you need to. Yeah. Because <laughs> Brandon, want, yeah, <laughs> Brandon needs to But I, I want to bring something up. You know, you were talking about people recognizing, recognizing people. And honestly, I think we need to get back onto the t-shirts thing. Because I went to Uno's Dos Tacos one, like it was a while back. Uno Dos Tacos uh, over there and I was wearing my oh. Steve, World of Steve shirt. Mm-hmm. And somebody was like, Wow, that's a really cool shirt they got there. I love World of Warcraft or something. And I was like, oh yeah. This, I said, I said if you look, it's got my name on it, World of Steepcraft. They're like, oh, you made that? I was like, actually. Actually. <laughs> my friend did. It was my friend did. It's our podcast, The <laughs> Little Jolly Gamer Show. You can check us out. So she might be listening. I, uh, I, I did also want to preamble this podcast by saying that anytime I start laughing, I'm probably going to have a coughing fit. Yeah. Uh, so I just want to let you know. It's not COVID. Yeah, the only thing that keeps... tested negative for COVID. <laughs> yes, I definitely, definitely tested negative. He's just a heavy smoker. Yeah, yeah a heavy smoker. Yeah, really. uh, uh, his, his smoke and finally caught up to him. But I do have our trivia card. Okay. In case you don't know, we start off the show with this trivia card that my mommy bought me. Should, uh, should, my should one of us know it? I don't know. Let's find out. I definitely, oh, yeah, I definitely right. cheated oh. last so, episode when uh, we did it virtually. I totally Googled it. Oh. So, so let's find out. Uh, it, so we're, I'm going to read two trivia questions, and I will reveal the answers at the yeah, end of the show. Got it. So you have to wait until the end of the show to find out the answer. So you ready? Yeah. yeah. Question number one. How many colossi is Wander tasked with defeating in Shadow of the Colossus? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know that one. Question number two. Developed by Rare, which side-scrolling beat-em-up game was released in 1991 in response to the popularity of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I know that's, this. Why that's that's your two this? questions. I know that one. And if you want to know the answers, stay tuned to the end one. of the show because I we're gonna we're going to reveal those answers. Uh, hey, so we usually talk about video games on this show that we've been playing, and we talk about video game news. Uh-huh. Not a whole lot of news going on right now. Not a whole lot. No. Uh, but I want to start off by talking about the only notable game I've really played in the past um, week or so. Yeah. Which is the Back for Blood Beta. Yeah. Back for Blood we, Beta. We've the, all... BB, the triple B. In yeah. case you don't know, Back for Blood, made by Turtle Rock Studios, mm-hmm. same people that made mm-hmm. Evolve. We'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> uh, but they kind of broke off from the Left 4 Dead team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, old Left 4 Dead team. Of the Left this yeah. is supposed to be Left 4 Dead. Yeah. This is just supposed to be a new Left 4 Dead. Literally, it's in the title. Back 4 Blood, Left 4 Dead. Um, they, this is supposed to be like the next step. The spiritual successor. Spiritual successor. The next step in the evolution of the Left 4 Dead gameplay franchise, yeah. right? What'd you guys think about it? You, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Go first. So I, just to preface, you know, like I've always, yeah. I've been a big Left 4 Dead I think guy. Steve's the big I love Left 4 Dead. I'd say so. I, I played I'd say them both. So. I played them both. I played Left 4 Dead 1 when it came out. I think it came out, what, 6, 7? Left 4 Dead 2 came out in 8. Because it came out the same I can look, time. I can as, look it up. It came out the same time as Modern Warfare 2. And I know Modern Warfare That's 2 right. came out in uh, 2008. Because all my friends got Modern Warfare 2. And I was the only nerd that got Left 4 Dead 2. But then I eventually got Modern Warfare 2. But anyway. Um... So, you know, I've been playing them for a long time. Then I have a, I bought them both again on, on Steam. Because, Left 4 you know, Dead, the, the, first the first one, came out November 17th, 2008. Two, 2008. 2008. Left 4 Dead 2 came out November 17th, 2009. Oh, okay, so I was a year off. Okay, my bad. My mm-hmm. bad, my bad. Left 4 Dead 2 came out in 2009. That's true, because I graduated when I was playing uh, Modern Warfare, because that was the year that the Saints went to the Super Bowl, <coughs> and, and we had our clan tags. Okay, I remember now, sorry. I'm getting off on a tangent. But anyway, so what did I think of Back for Blood? I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was pretty cool, but 
the thing is, is that, like, it didn't do enough to tickle that fancy for me. Yeah. And so, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not a fan of... Uh, so, so the way that they do perks and stuff in there... Um, you, can you do something? No, you're good. Okay. The way that they do perks and stuff in there is that they use a card system. I hate the card system. I hate it so much. I hate it with a passion. I think it's stupid. Because, for one, if it's totally based on RNG. So, let, let's... Let, before we jump into that, because... Let, let's kind of break it down. Yeah, let's break so it down. So let me... I, I break wanna, it down. I yeah, want to say... Your first impression. I want to say... Mean. That's fine. That's all right. I was bored. Wait till you see my notes. Wait until you see my notes. I was bored. Now, I well, play... I, you guys all left the party last night. I, sorry. I got, no, no, no. Well, I mean, it's just... It's just yeah, the, in the ma- yeah, that's the, the... Did you play with a friend? No, that's the... Okay. That, that's, okay. that's the X Factor. That okay, is, that, okay. I agree with well, you. Now there, look, 100%. we we all played together. Uh, mm-hmm. Me, Steve, Seth, and Will, and we were kind of. Bored. Why do I keep calling him Ryan? His yeah. name is Will. He has a there was name, there Ryan. was. Oh, okay. Did y'all do the act? Y'all went in the, we the did, campaign. We, yeah, we did the campaign. We, we did the campaign, and it. it there were some okay. moments that were neat. Okay, yeah. I, I made some notes today because I was bored. Okay, I'll put it to you this way: I think they improved the difficulty a great deal. I, <coughs> I like that a lot. Sure, gunplay. Left 4 Dead really felt like Left 4 Dead one and two. If you were, if you weren't playing on at least advanced mode, you're just running okay, through paper thin, so, paper thin zombies. Yeah, let, let's put it this way: before I, I have some pros and cons, yeah. I kind of separate them. Um, but before we do that, in case you don't know how Left 4 Dead plays, basically. Four player co op survival. Yeah. Uh, kind of, I don't want to say grueling difficult, but it's not as easy as something like, um, um, I don't want to, I, I guess it's kind of akin to like Call of Duty Zombies. It's kind of the same yeah. way. You know, your health bar is very valuable. As opposed to trying to stay alive as long as you can, you're and, trying to get from point A to point B. Yeah, ammunition, yeah. ammunition is scarce. Um, mm-hmm. and yeah, you, yeah. you have some very yeah. slight customiza- uh, custom. Customization options. I, Jesus, that's, that's Jesus Brandon, thing. get it out. That's one thing they did really well. Yes, that. I, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but like Jacob said, you're going from point A to point B. You, go, point B. you start off in a safe room. You cut through a scenario. You get to another safe room, Pretty and much. then that's kind of the game. That's yep. what you do. That's the loop. And then you've got your different survivors you can play as. Uh, in Left 4 Dead, it didn't really matter. They all played the same, and now yeah. they've got some unique uh, abilities, right? So sure. she plays the Dan Aykroyd looking guy. Then your team has access to a bigger pool of ammo. Yeah. And then Walker, um, Walker starts with a, a Glock, a handgun. Right, right. Not so I'm just going to I'm gonna read my notes off, and if yeah. you guys want to chime in, if I miss yeah, anything, yeah, just sure, let me know. Sure, sure. So the, as far as the pros are concerned, the mm-hmm. pros versus cons, I think movement and shooting felt great. Yes. Yes. I agree with I think you, you, there's a little bit of parkour element. You can run, you yep. can jump, you can climb. Now, I would have liked to see them do more, like running and yeah. sliding. Sliding. Oh, yeah. I felt, I, like, cool. I felt like once I got overwhelmed by the zombies... I was done for. Like yeah. I feel like there was no. It wasn't like left. Now dead. that one guy's got more breakout ability, yeah. right? So you might want to play as him. Yeah. Um, I, I put here that the co-op is fun and it's a very technically efficient game. I think it, it it holds together really well. I think I didn't have any stuttering. You know, I didn't have any you know any no glitches, yeah. no glitches. No, no, it, no, no, it looked it looked it looked very I'm, polished game. It looked great on the phone. No, no, no I'll glitches. be honest. I'll be honest. Uh, from the closed beta that. I played with Seth a little bit because I gave him one of my invites. Uh-huh. Um, just and that was last weekend to this upcoming. It was really polished from there. So kudos to Turtle Turtle Rock for for making changes from there. At, at this point, I mean, because it's gone gold. This yeah. game has gone gold. Yeah. Uh, this beta is kind of what you can probably expect. The yeah, game this is pretty much. Really a, a lot of games do that these sure. days, where it's yeah. like they put out a beta and it's like, okay, this this is the game. Yeah. Like what's the well? Like, that's what most. That's what's what another beta that we played before. not too long ago? What's the last beta I mean, that we the played? The last beta I played was Burning Crusade. No. Like let's let's use Fallout seventy six as an example. I remember we played one, a Fallout seventy six beta before it came out, yeah. and it was pretty safe to say that that was the game you were gonna. Pretty get. much. Yeah. Um, so I also put on here that there were some cool characters with cool abilities. Yeah, I like them. I I I do appreciate that there is a shop system. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I just put it's Left for Dead. Yeah. Now here is where. That's all. That's all the good stuff I have to say. Yeah. No. Yeah. The uh, gun, gunplay felt great. I, gun I really like Steve said. I yeah. like the customization, being able to add a, a oh, stock so or, a, a, or a silencer <laughs> or a ACOG or a, yeah. Know. That's really cool. Left 4 Dead Two did not have that. I mean, no. Now, you you don't get to pick these things a la carte either. No, you no, find them as random. you go. So or they're you, random in the shop. You might, but you can yeah, exchange yeah. them very quick. You you can exchange them very easily. Yeah. So, the system like for so if I have a shotgun and you have an AR and then you know you find a silencer, I might want to give that to you because you can get more shots off with a with a suppressor. It seems to me like they're all like if you find a silencer somewhere out there, it works for 
all weapons, most weapons. That's right that's here. kind of the coolest part of, of the dynamic of playing with your I friends. Mean, you get a, get a, open up a box and you get to be like, okay, uh, let's not just you know, I'm not just gonna take the, these bandages just because yeah. I want them. Yeah. You know, Steve might be hurting and he wants that. Like, we need to talk and be a team. Exactly. That's and the I cool. Like that a lot. That's the cool part of the game. Yeah. That's the best part of the game. Yeah. I will say, just on the five note, it does uh, utilize. I know you can't experience uh, yes, adaptive, adaptive triggers. Adaptive triggers. So yeah. like melee swings, you have to. That's pretty cool. to swing now, on. I, mm-hmm. now, believe it or not, um, the way that Seth described it, Seth turned it off. I mean, I don't want to speak for Seth, but it seemed to me like it was more of a hindrance for him. So I have to wonder um, how some people. I mean, feel that's about that. that's almost any game. It's, like, so it, it yeah. just depends on if you want a more immersive trigger pull or yeah. not. I like it. it Call if, of Duty, it's actually a little tougher. If you're, if you're trying yeah. to be efficient, if you're trying yeah. to win a game of Call of Duty, you're turning it off because yeah. it's it's literally hindering you from being yeah. better. Yeah, so it's really good for that immersion. I agree with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, I usually keep it on just because I, I, I can't so I'm, it, I'm, I'm here played, for a good time. Yeah. Full disclosure, <laughs> I played it on the PC. That's another thing I love. It's cross-play. Yes. Yeah, cross- yeah, absolutely, cross- yes. I love that. I, I mean, honestly, like, uh, with with the mouse, like, I, I've picked up a freaking handgun and I have found a way where I could shoot, shoot that shoot that handgun so fast it was like it was fully automatic yeah, with that mouse you know just you know and I thought that was really cool and I guess y'all probably couldn't do that on the uh, adaptive, tri- uh, adaptive trigger so my bad <laughs> so the whole the whole time I was playing uh, I was even talking to Steve about it, I was like what what is it that I'm that I'm not feeling? Yeah, I'm right. Not, I'm not feeling. Something. There was it was something missing. And, and let me let me something missing. I let agree. me give you some of my thoughts and okay. see if maybe you agree, right? Because mm-hmm. the gunplay felt good. Yeah, the movement felt good. I have ideas. The gun, the gun, it was it was feeling good to play. But why yeah. why why didn't I have a big smile on my face? Why? And I think I know what it is. It's the combat, the gameplay in general lacks impact. Yep. Right. So. I'm putting on here, I put on here, there's a lack of, not necessarily a lack of gore, but how it's implemented, right? So you remember in Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, yeah. you get the pipe bomb, you throw it, it beeps, they all swarm to it, it blows up, and then pieces of their body go yep. flying everywhere, yep, there's a big that. old pool of blood. I felt like I, and I was playing Back for Back for Blood, I felt like I would shoot a zombie twice and my mm-hmm. character's covered in blood. Yep. I didn't earn that. Yeah. It just, it felt like my, all of a sudden my character, it has this matte, kind of ugly looking yeah. matte red I didn't color. Care for that. I, I didn't care and for that a lot. I remember using grenades. I, I, I was using, I, had, I was playing as the uh, Dan Aykroyd looking guy. Yeah. And I could, um, I had extra grenades. I, could, I think I could carry an extra grenade. I think so. And I would throw grenades and like it would just go. Pfft. And like, I don't know, did you guys use explosives? I did. I, I used a grenade. It's, like, it's, it's like they didn't do it. Like, I used it against the ogre. I didn't even use them. Because, Molotovs are okay, but it, as far as explosion... I didn't, yeah, I didn't use them because I felt like it didn't have that impact. So mm-hmm, I felt like it wasn't yeah. being effective, so yeah. I decided not to use it. I, I think that's that. what it was. Cause I'm, 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 I'm comparing to other games like... I don't know, I, I hate to use a super big AAA game like Red Dead Redemption 2 or something. But like, when I shoot a zombie, I want his arm to fly off. Yeah. I want... I want I, I want that. I want that impact. Yeah. Which their heads would explode and stuff. Yeah. But the game doesn't have a good way of conveying it to you. Maybe. Yeah. And so like, I like, and, and I was using a shotgun. Yeah. Because yeah. you, know, you're in a zombie movie. Yeah. What do you pick? A shotgun. shotgun. And it's like, I felt there was no reason for me to use this thing. Yeah. I was like, can I just get the AR because there's more bullets going out and that's really the only thing that's effective. I agree. I I wish there was. I, I, I don't want to say it's. You remember we, we talk about you know Left 4 Dead had paper thin zombies. Yeah. Why did that game have more impact yeah. than this did? I'm not saying that they, they had a lot more zombies in Left 4 Dead. They did, more, right? Way so you, more. And that that in turn made it feel like you were being more impactful whenever yeah. you're shooting that big old super shotgun yeah. and zombies are just flying off. Right yeah. here, it's like it it's in the middle and it it doesn't choose to be one way or the other. Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel like you're blowing this thing away, but it mm-hmm. also doesn't feel like you're having to really be strategic about where you're shooting yeah. it. Like, blowing its leg off so it doesn't it doesn't that, crawl yeah. towards you. Do y'all remember the the, epi- the, 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 the part in the uh, in the act, in the campaign, where you have to get to a boat and we you're having to go through the grain yard? Uh-huh. Uh, and then, that's a back to blood? Mm-hmm, and then you have to... Make it it point. Right, does yeah. com- completely returns. Hey, activate the thing. It's gonna be loud. Yeah. Here comes the horde. We gotta drop the bridge. Well, you have to drop the grain and the grain yeah. rises and it helps you climb oh, over. Oh, okay. We did there was we, a, we got Yeah, we got that. Okay, there was a moment there and they were piling up and I threw a grenade in and I was like... Okay, I think I killed yeah, yeah, like, some. Did I? They keep. I don't I know I what I had. Okay. Honestly, I felt like the grenade was most effective against the ogre because yes. I actually saw the health go down. Yeah. Well, and when, when you like throw you kinda, it, it gives you a big radius. It yeah. shows you it's gonna blow up this radius. But everything it, in here is gonna be dead. It on impact too. And then you throw it, and it's just like. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't cover that like. Yeah. 
And does the does, does the, the the glowy things on some of those bad guys? Those are the weak points, right? I'm yes. assuming because yes. that's a yes. video game thing to do. Yes. And even me shooting the ogre, like, okay, I'm hitting the glowy thing, and I see the health going away. But oh, like, it felt like a bullet sponge. I me. don't know if it makes a difference. I didn't see a difference between me hitting the glowy thing and me hitting yeah. the regular body parts, other than his health pool. Yeah. I mean, they have and hit markers, but they, there was no differentiation. Right. Yeah. It, but, it, but it didn't feel like I, I was doing a difference. I, I wonder if that's maybe that might be a, a technical thing because I think maybe, it's supposed to maybe, do that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe, uh, there, maybe it was the difficulty we were can, playing on. The only thing, like maybe, the thing I don't understand about the difficulty is, is that when you go to select it, I'm sorry, Brandon. Uh, no, no, I was, I was, I was on a, when, on a when tangent. When you select it, it doesn't really tell you what's different other than the friendly fire. And yeah. So, like, what's the difference? Like, like, is there a significant difference in playing it in veteran veteran and mode zombies, as far as like, the zombies like, are concerned? Spongier. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and. I mean, they could they could do a lot of different things to solve it. Like maybe just even an auditory cue to let yeah. you know. Because right. I mean, the, that's it, what Left 4 Dead sounded, did so well. It, it mm. sounded really good, like what I was hearing. But like the special zombies, they just kind of come out of nowhere, right? Yeah. But Left 4 Dead, I'm glad you brought this. Yeah, up. the music. Left cues. 4 Dead, each bad guy. Yeah. Bom, bom, to to bom. my knowledge, yeah. to my knowledge, each one. The, the uh, text uh, every single one. The spitter, yeah. the the yeah. the big monkey <laughs> arm guy. <laughs> they all had their own. They had a little jingle. A little and jingle whenever it played, played mm-hmm. you knew that they were around. You didn't yeah. know where. But, like, you know how many times I was getting so aggravated? How many times I would round a corner and a big exploder guy yep. would be there? Yep. And then all of a sudden, I am literally dead. Like, yeah. I've that lost thing all in my the ground. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. well, I was walking in ankle deep water. All yeah. of a sudden, I get pulled down, and, like, there was no cue to let me know that so, yeah. that I like was there. That. I do, I do like that to an extent, but I don't, I, I don't like how impactful it is. But it like, needed, I, like, it needed to be, like, it needed to be telegraphed yeah. a little better. Not, I, I don't agree, want it to be, like, a big there. red bar that says, hey, don't step here. Yeah. But, like, how was I supposed to know that this ankle deep water was any different than this pile of bodies? Exactly. What, is, what is iconic about the tank? What is iconic about the witch? It's the, the music and the audio cues. That's it's not, com- it's not the, the event. I I, my, uh, one of my biggest complaints about this game is that there is no change of pace. No. So yes, I will. I fully did. So did y'all get past the the grain part? Would you get on the ship? No. Yeah. Well, we were playing. Me and Seth we, did. Me we, and Seth we were playing on like, a harder difficulty yeah. when I joined. Me and Seth got all the way to the midway point of the chapter. Okay, that's about where I got. So yeah. I, if I could just insert what I have, what I feel like feels empty is a lack of events. <laughs> Yeah, it feels so. There's a part. Wait, like a what? I'm sorry. Of, of events. Events. Okay. Like yeah, sure. There's the the generic staple of the hey, we gotta the make something in. loud yeah. to make the horde come. But like, so there's a part where you get on the ferry and the, the, your your posse shows up some, with some Humvees. Like hey, we gotta cut this this route off because they're getting to us. So we're gonna blow the ship up. So I need two of you guys to go plant bombs. Two of you guys yeah, cover them. And so like. That got hectic because I'm like yeah, I'm planning yeah. it and like so, oh boy I'm like oh god I gotta run and I, then the, the countdown starts. I think you're right. That was cool. Yeah. But then then it's also, back to. I, I, was, I did want to say one thing I did like was how you, we talked about the weak spots. I like how some of those had really cool designs like the one yeah. the one with the big crazy arm. Yeah, tall boy. He walks with his arm out here, but his weak spots back, back here. On his shoulder. That's so, really cool. So it would it would benefit like Jacob if he had a sniper rifle. I'm like Jacob, I need help. I need help. He would have the angle on, and I yep. wouldn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that would really be kind of cool. cool. That's really cool. But but. My biggest complaint, like I was saying, is it's the lack of change of pace. You know what I really, really enjoy about Left 4 Dead? It was your pace was constantly changing. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, just so much would go on while you're getting from point A to point B. Like, let's say a horde comes, you can't really run. Like, like in, in Back for Blood, I felt like you were incentivized to haul butt to get to point B. In Left 4 Dead. Left for Dead and Left for Dead 2, you yeah, can't do that. It was tiptoeing. Exactly. You had to, like, like yes, there was moments where you could rush through. And there's some moments where there's a witch. You got to tiptoe. You, you, might, you might want to check your corners before you walk into a room. Exactly. You instantly got to gotta put on stealth because there could be a witch there. Oh, no, there's a tank. It's a mini-boss fight. We got to stop what we're doing, fight the, fight the tank. And then there's a horde event. You can't run through the horde. You have to kind of hunker down in place and, and survive the horde. There was none of that, in my opinion. I had a police car, and it goes, you've alerted the horde. And I was like, oh, God, I'm, guys, okay. I'm sorry. And then it was like, oh, well, that was okay. I want, I wanted was to no put, different than the regular exactly, zombies. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to put on here. Uh, yes, that change of pace, I fully agree it's, with you, it's, Steve. It's really, that's what really made Left 4 Dead so dynamic, in my opinion. It was just the fact that there was so much that you, you could not just go into a, a jump into a game and haul butt to point B. That's not okay, happening. here it is. Well, that's, well, that's what that's what made it, it was the dynamic. Exactly. Because each dynamic. level was always the same. It was always from point A to point B. There's a way to get to it. You're going to start the horde here. But it was, like you said, those little interruptions. I think another thing that doesn't help with Back for Blood is that a lot of the environments are a lot of the same. And there's, yep. not, there's not a lot going on to make you remember anything except for, mm-hmm. like, 
I don't remember anything that we did in between going and activating the grain thing. Mm -hmm. As it was all just, you know, generic environments. Yeah. And I'm not expecting every level to be, you know, New Dog City from, from Mario or yeah. anything. But just something to make you kind of, like, remember the level. Mm -hmm. um, I put on here, because you're talking about the events, I feel like it needs more of the big events and less of the small events. Because yeah. I feel like there's way too many groups of those birds yeah. and way too many, like, alarm events to make you have to fight a horde of zombies. Just uh, take out some of the birds and add a random panic event. That's literally what they call them yes. in, in Left 4 Dead. Yes. Left 4 Dead... Uh, if you if you get it on PC and pull out the uh, the developer console, you can you could spawn what's called a panic event, which is basically, it just happened randomly. And then it happened and then if you're it, if you're taking too exactly. long. That's what would happen in Left 4 Dead. You could be walking, and the next you know you hear that, and the next you know the horde of zombies are pouring out of the freaking buildings everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. and and it's like they didn't have that in this game. There was no there was no stealth. I was not incentivized. Like the only thing I was incentivized to do was to avoid the birds, and that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. There was none of that. They had the ogre, but the ogre was more of a nuisance, if anything. I mean, yeah. it was aggravating, and it was so... He was so... I felt like at some points he was overpowered. I mean, it's like, you know, there was a point where me, Brandon, Seth, and the AI, because uh, Will hadn't joined at the time, were just unloading into the ogre and didn't do nothing. And it's like, you know... In, in that lack of impact, it just feels like you're pulling a trigger. Exactly. You're just like... Uh, I wasn't I, when he first clawed out of the ground. I was like, "Oh, I remember this from the from the uh, from the, the, the demo, demo uh, the yeah the, tr the the sizzle trailer." That's right. Uh, and um, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be good." And then it was just kind of like he charged at you, threw the little blood ball, and then he went back in the ground. I was like, "Well, that was kind of now." Yeah, I, I will say that he it seems like he acts differently every time, and I do kind of like that. There was so when me and Seth fought him on the first round, he went in the ground at like half health. There was when Same. when me, Brandon, and Seth did it. He went into the ground at like he has zero health. One yeah, like, health. Yeah, like, oh, like, really? like when he finally popped back up again, we shot him once. But we don't died. know. If we, we don't know if we if we could have killed him or if that was like maybe like the they weren't gonna let it go past yeah. one. Yeah, you know, I have no idea. But we did play you know a couple things where Steve was like, okay, there's gonna be some guys up here, and they wouldn't be there. I could appreciate that they mix up the levels yeah. a little bit to where you don't know exactly what's gonna sure. happen. Yeah. Um, I put on here. You guys may or may not agree with me. Some of the guns feel samey. Uh, cause I remember I went to the the firing range and that's the first thing I did. I was like, look at all these guns! Yeah. Wow! Um, but then I started like realizing that like, especially whenever it came to like the secondary guns, like yeah. a lot of the pistols all felt kind of the same. The same. Yeah. Um, and it really just depends on, do you want a burst? Do you want a fully automatic? Do you want a shotgun? Or do you want something heavy? Yeah. And then like, not that that's a bad I thing. Agree with that. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, but I was really hoping that each gun, cause I, I see this huge wall of guns. Steve takes me to the fire range. He's like, dude, look at all these guns. I was hoping each and every one of them would have unique properties. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe that's the difference <coughs> in um, Left 4 Dead and Back 4 Blood. Yeah, Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead, it didn't have as, as wide of a right, but each one of them guns one felt of them were different. They felt exactly. unique and different. We um, found an AK in Left 4 Dead 2 that was awesome. Right, yeah, and in, and if you found that gun you wanted, you said typically you were going to keep oh, it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, now, I do appreciate that I'm constantly wanting to change my gun out because yeah. I want the one gun that I want. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to say, in general, I feel like everything is... They either were too afraid to go all in, and so everything ends up being a little half-baked. Yeah. yeah. And what I mean by that is mainly in character abilities. Like... It doesn't really make a difference who you end up picking, because yeah. they want you to be able to pick the character you you know you want to play as, and that's understandable. You know, if I want to play as a Dan Aykroyd guy, let me play as a Dan Aykroyd yeah. guy. Um, but why even have it there? Why not at that point just be more like Left for Dead? I hate to have I'm, I'm constantly comparing, but I mean that's that's, that's, that's inevitable well, yeah. here. But you know, playing as Francis and playing as Bill, yeah. but no difference. Yeah. Just, Other than voice lines, pretty much. <laughs> right, you're the same character. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like when you have something that's half-baked like that, what's the point? You know, why, why not just axe it and be like, you know, why not turn that into something that you can pick from yeah. these, this card system exactly. or something like that? And speaking of the card system, that is something that I also feel like is half-baked. Same. Yeah. Because you're, 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 you're going, into, you're going into it, it earlier. I, I cut you off. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's something that is, I think it's a cool idea. You build your deck. As the game goes through, you can pick one of the things that you mm -hmm. have. Uh, that's that's cool, um, but uh, I feel I feel like the idea of unlocking them and like why not just be able to pick your your traits kind of like World War Z. I would like that. I would like World that War one. Z. You just picked. Yeah, I was a medic. 
Yeah. All my stuff is medic based, and that's all I have to worry about. You know, I don't have to worry about like, oh, am I going to get that one card? But when it comes to the card system, my favorite part about it was how it uses the cards against you with those yeah. corruption that's cards. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's like neat. That. That's that neat. neat. Uh, but I, the the card system, as far as like you unlocking your cards, yeah. going back and building your deck, it makes me scared for the future of the game as far as the season mm-hmm. pass and the, and, uh, and the uh, microtransactions. Transaction. Yeah, Steve brought that yep. up. Yep. That is and, my biggest concern and, about it. And speaking of, this leads into my other complaint, which is That's what, I'm what, what is the progression here? What, yeah. Like, other than playing the game and enjoying yourself and having a good time, what's the point? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, at, from what I can understand, it's just doing that roadmap, that... Uh, that uh, supply line supply or whatever, line, yeah. which gets you more cards. Yeah. And other than that, you know, there's no character customization. There's no gun customization as far as like visuals yeah. yet that we know about. Yeah. Like, what well, are you working towards? <laughs> right. What are you working towards that's not just progressing the like the story in the game? Because yeah. clearly, the story is not something that's big. I'm, I'm gonna touch on that. I had to find something story related to talk about. I have no idea what's going um, on with the story but, itself. So, like, what what what's the point here? You know, you whenever you have uh, a game like this, I'm thinking of like people who are playing it, streaming it with their buddies or whatever, yeah. and having a good time. You know, what are they playing for other than just playing it to have a good time? Which we've kind of established, at least for me. Is a little too boring for me to want to wanna jump into. Exactly. Um, I, f- I feel that's, like that's how Left 4 Dead was. Left 4 Dead really didn't have much of a point other than just hopping no, in and it wasn't. With your friends. But they did that well, though. Yeah, it's the way I, 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 I going back to what you said. I think the dynamic change. Yeah. And, because that's what keeps the loop interesting every exactly. time. Because exactly. if it's the same, if it's the same witch in the same corner, if it's the same tank event, when we get in this tunnel, it's always going to be the same loop every time. And now you grind the same dungeon yeah. over and over. And now, now yeah. you got a Destiny Two problem. Exactly. Yeah. They yeah. change that up. I think with the card system, and maybe it's because I've been playing a MOBA I'll talk about in a second, but ha- do the MOBA approach where, you know, okay, maybe that does alienate that where having each different character at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who you pick at the end, as you get further into it. First yeah. off, maybe it will off the bat, but as you get into it, it really doesn't matter who you play with. But maybe make it to where the characters are a little more valuable, like each one has an ability and like... As you play, instead of instead of getting cards like a MOBA, you unlock like next this next act. You unlock the next tier in in what's the what's the girl's name? Uh, it's not I keep Molly. Thinking. Chloe. Molly. Yeah, Molly. You unlock. All right, Molly can either swing power swings with the bat, or maybe she can do this. You have an A yeah. B choice, and then the next the next time you create or you finish another safe room, now you unlock the next tier of Molly's tree. Yeah. And and every time you do that, that's that just yeah. that's pretty cool. Maybe yeah, do that, that approach, cool. and like, then, like so a talent each, tree. Each, each, yeah, each, and each time, and it resets play it. every time you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, each That's time you play cool. a scenario, like a mo- it yeah. restarts. So yeah, and then maybe like have each character have some some unique things like exactly. that. Like right. the Dan give me Aykroyd a reason guy. why I want to play this character. Right, right. right. Aside from that's other cosmetics. Than, exactly. That's, that's, um, that's, see, see, I like that. That's what I like about you. You're coming up with a solution. That's a good. I don't like to just complain. I like to come up with a solution. solution. <laughs> I think that's a good. That's a good. That's a good approach. But, um, yeah. But uh. Uh, narratively, the only thing I can come up with, because uh, I don't really don't know what's going on in that game, all I know is that like there's like this, you know, alien parasite type thing that's making the zombies. I, I, I didn't like, know that. I, I didn't know that. I do like that it's a unique approach. <laughs> but it's not like a virus. You play. Okay. Okay. You don't play as survivors sure. in this one. You're, you, cleaners. you're the cleaners. Now that I feel like the narrative works against it because you're the people who are prepared to go back out there and fight them, uh-huh. and like it makes no sense why we're so desperate and scrawling around looking for supplies. Like yeah. why? Shouldn't we be prepared for this? Yeah. Like, I don't know, with Left 4 Dead, I mean, you're playing as, like... You, you are know, survivors. You're a biker. Yeah. You're, you're an old military Vietnam War vet guy. You're uh, Lewis, who needs pills, and, like... Pills! His, and his character reflects that, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, um... Coach! He's, he's wearing his... Right, he's, the coach. he's wearing his office... His office... Um, his uniform, right? And he's got his, like, loose tie, and his clothes are all ripped up. Right. It looks like he just walked out of work to, into a zombie apocalypse. These guys... Or like, they're they're dressed up for fun. I mean, yeah. other than the Dan Aykroyd guy, I, I can't. What's his name? Harmon. I, I have no idea the names. Harold. Maybe? Harold. I don't know. Whatever his name was. Yeah, his name. I don't want to say the characters were forgettable, but like the only ones that made we sense. Can't remember their names. The ones that made <laughs> sense to me was was the guy you played as. What was yeah. his name? Uh, Mark Walker. What Walker? And the only reason Is I remember. That the, the black man guy. Bun guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, black dude with the backwards dude hat with the backwards. and like. Oh uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He made sense to me. Uh, the Dan Aykroyd looking guy made sense to me because he's like a yeah. doomsday prepper but all the rest of them are like look like they're dressed for like a fashion show right. yeah, exactly. which I mean that's fine but like the only reason Walker's so memorable to me is because I hear Walker and I'm thinking zombies because of Walking Dead like 
But you know what I'm saying, though? I feel like... It, That's where your brain goes. That's where my I feel brain like goes. narratively, like... You know, they're, they're, the characters are very unmemorable. Ones. They are. If we're, yeah. if we're comparing to Left 4 Dead, I mean, they're not the most memorable characters ever, but, like, they, they feel like they belong. I, I, I disagree with that. I think I think Left 4 Dead characters are very... I, I, I think Left 4 Dead did a fantastic job setting them up. I think some of them are... All four of them. I think some of them are. Some of them are. I, think, I think, like, a character like... Um, the first one more so than the second one. Like Ellis, I'll, I'll never forget Ellis. Never forget I'll never forget Ellis. Coach. Uh, but, but I don't, I don't remember. The, I don't remember the female on that yeah, one. Rochelle. Rochelle. And, and, and I don't remember the gambler. Dude. And I remember. I remember the dude with the suit. He's a gambler dude. I don't remember his name. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't that's a shame. I don't <laughs> a lot. Well, so like, you see, what I'm saying though, I feel like, yeah. some, but but they do have memorable ones. Yeah. I feel like here, I was just like, okay, I was gonna play as this but guy because maybe was, speak, be, well, Left yeah. 4 Dead set the stage very well on both of them. On Left 4 Dead one, there's that there's that intro cutscene that you watch. Where it kind of it shows like the precursor to the very first level. Um, that very, very is that No Mercy? Is that No Mercy? Yeah, yeah, No Mercy. Yeah. Um, that campaign. It's, it's like what happens before No Mercy. You know, right. it's like how uh, Bill, Zoe, <coughs> um, <coughs> Lewis, and Francis are all like going through the city, and then and then another one you have like right before uh, Left 4 Dead 2. You have right before um, they're in the hotel room, right before mm-hmm. the Savannah level. And so it's like they did a really good job setting the stage because, like, right off the bat, you remember these people because I mean, it's it's. Humor, I mean, it's Ellis, humorous. Ellis of all people. Is well, the that, that's the thing though is my buddy Keith. Yeah, you ever it, heard them talk about sucking hands? Mm-hmm. Well, my buddy Keith, he didn't know. <laughs> Ellis, ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing gross about food. Ellis, but there was a goat. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that's the thing is the banner in the safe room. Yeah, I think that's what makes a memorable. Yes. is they had banter. They didn't. So have while that. you were prepping, they were talking to each other. Like I mean, these guys they are were, very. No, no, they do. They do have a little bit. They, of that. they, they do, do they? talk they a little bit, but like it's not for that the memorable though. No. Well, I'd say they're they're more like some of the characters. Like uh, who's that guy? Like the free runner looking guy with the long hair. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The main one. He just kind of seemed more annoying to me. Yeah. Right, because like every time. Uh, I, I would actually shoot like, like hey man watch where you're shooting yeah. man and then like whenever I was playing as a Dan Aykroyd looking guy every time I'd get shot he'd be like it's okay accidents happen <laughs> and, like, I felt I felt more that's why I was playing as him because I felt like I would like that character more yeah. I don't know uh, I like Walker Walker's pretty cool but I think in closing what I really want to say is that I was playing it and if I was not playing with my friends and enjoying it with my friends I don't think I would play this game Agreed. I feel like it has a problem with being unmemorable, mm-hmm. and it has a problem with being um, just kind of from from my game from a moment to moment gameplay perspective. Vanilla, vanilla, kind of boring. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. I, my what I would say in closing um, is basically like it's fun. It tickles the nostalgia a little bit. It, yeah, it's it's definitely fine. Yeah, it's a game. Yes. It's, it's a video if y'all game. Y'all get it. I'll get it. I'll this you that much. this is if a y'all video don't game. Get it, I'm that's not how, getting that's it. That's how. I this is a video game. That will come out, that you can buy, and you can play, and it will work, it will function, and you can play it with your friends, yeah. and you can enjoy yourself. Yeah. It's it's not, well, to, I would assume it's not going to launch and be absolutely broken. Yeah. It's not going to launch and have, well, it might have broken servers, I don't know. <laughs> it's, but it's going to be a functional product, which in the year 2021 in video gaming is... It's, is a hard thing to say it, for it, some it, games. It's an achievement in and of itself. We couldn't play... When Grand Theft Auto Online launched in 2013, we couldn't play that game. Do y'all remember how much of a cluster F that was? <laughs> right, right. And so this is a finished product that's mm-hmm. coming out. Yeah. Now, the only part that I can't speak on... Now, um, we didn't talk about P- the PvP aspect. Yeah, I, didn't really I don't really it. care for it. I didn't even care for it in Left 4 Dead. Yeah. yeah not it was for fun me. to play as the infected. But I, I heard it's yes. kind of janky. Yeah. I've heard it's kind of janky. But, um, not for me. Uh, but there is already a season pass plan for this thing that already kind of has some kind of icky, icky motives. Mm-hmm. But it's not that bad, right? So if Steve yeah. gets the DLC and we don't, and he launches a game, we can play it with him. Sure. That's okay. But you're but come you know, matchmaking, if you're yeah. trying to play with random people, or if you want to play with someone, you might not get to matchmake with someone who has that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's kind of halfway icky. Yeah. But this is also Turtle Rock we're talking about. We're talking about Evolve. Evolve. <laughs> oh, God. Who remembers Evolve? The game that had the most everything going for it. Yeah. Asymmetrical so multiplayer. Cool. It seems so cool. I love this idea. Back, it's a back, idea. back when asymmetrical multiplayer was not really a thing yet. Yeah. Not everybody was doing it. Sad to see that Friday the Thirteenth was a better asymmetrical multiplayer game than Evolve was. <laughs> More on that some other time. But who remembers when that game launched? 
buying monsters for like three dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, monsters that were exclusive to, is paid paid pre-order exclusive. There was mm -hmm. so much DLC that th it was back in whenever games would launch, and it was like, why is this not on the disc? Mm -hmm. This was a sixty dollars game that I bought, and you made all this. Why did like? Give me half of this stuff, at least. I think when we did our DLP episode, we totaled all that, that up. Free, and that's that, fine. It was over 200 some odd dollars if you bought everything you got with nickel, the game. You got nickel and dimed yeah. from the launch of that game. Yeah. So I can see why some people are hesitant. kind, kind of hesitant. I'm from, glad to, you to, reminded me of that, because now I'm even more skeptical. But, but hey, look. Maybe they, they maybe learned. learned. Are, are, as we as gamers, are we past the point of forgiveness for some people... I'm not talking about Blizzard. Uh, <laughs> like, can we forgive people for having... CD Projekt. For, I mean, honestly, even right. them. I can forgive them because they're decent. They're decent people. You like, know, I felt like when they did The Witcher, we, it's we, like, we, we, like we gotta them. give people the chance to make things right I instead agree. of outright canceling whatever their next product is, right? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, on that aspect, I'm gonna give them a chance as far as letting... Release your game. I want to see yeah. how it does. I'm not gonna say, "Hey, don't buy this Same game." Here. Um, but from from that that season pass, I don't know, man. I need to see. Um, I need to see the. I need to see their business practices in play. And also another thing that's already kind of like got it. Like before I even download, I went to the the PlayStation Store page to go download it. It already has like three different versions you can buy. Yeah. yeah. Starting with the sixty dollars version, going to the one hundred dollars version. And what's what's? I mean, I mean, I'm okay with that because I mean, you know, they got like Final Fantasy had that. I think maybe the hundred dollars version is basically just like your pre order on the season pass. Yeah. And maybe I some problem with additions. some collector I like don't either. like some digital deluxe like card packs or yeah. something I like that. The collector's upgrade for Shadowbringers because I want that gun blade. I think <laughs> that's literally that's, the only reason I got. That's fine. Yeah. I think. As, for just speaking from a, a personal per, a personal, this is just a Jacob opinion. Mm -hmm. I probably will stay away from day one, and not because yeah, of, just here. for the same reason you said, dude. You said it because I think this is a complete game. I think this is a smooth game. I think it's lacking features or things to be done in the gameplay. But my problem personally is I don't have a small little window to play with you guys. Yeah. And if I can't play with you, like last night, because it was new, that was keeping me going. But there was a point where after I got past the ship event, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this I'm anymore. Done. I'm yeah, done. Exactly. I've seen everything. Whenever a game is like, but your, your enjoyment of it is hinging on playing with your friends and there's nothing for you to do solo with it or mm -hmm. I mean if you really want to you could play public lobbies yeah. with randos I mean that's not for it's me that's what I did it's not that fun yeah. that's not for me Left 4 Dead was I, like we said earlier one of the coolest parts about this game is how much you do need to communicate yeah. me and Steve both have shotguns we need to communicate who picks up that Shotgun, ammo yeah, because just ammo snagging is, everything right. it's a little bit of a gauntlet there going right. on right and so whenever you're <laughs> playing with randos and, and they sound like the putty monsters from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers <laughs> and they're just <laughs> you're right <laughs> And you're constantly having to pick them up. You're constantly having to waste your bandages. And, like, you know... That happened last night with the randos. Yeah. I've never had rifle rounds. And I had a, I had an LMG. I was like, guys, I... You know what? I'll just buy the, the, the extra ammo kit that's every time. I have. The, the ammo types are kind of wonky. If you have the, if you have yeah, the revolver, Steve that's got rifle ammo. That's, you use rifle ammo with that. Yeah. I had an LMG and a revolver. They both use the same ammo. Yeah. yeah Steve, so you were always out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so I, did not well the melee weapon. I did not realize that until I ran out of my LMG. I was like, it's okay. I'll pull up oh, the sidearm. I don't have no ammo. It's like Fallout 76. <laughs> but, I, but I do want to say that I know there's a lot of poo one going on here, but we did have some positive it's a things fun to say. Game. It really and is. I, this is a, like I said, this is a it's video a game. It's a complete polished. Yeah. This is a, this game. is a game you can buy, mm -hmm. and you can enjoy it. But for me, Steve said something, and it made me think about something. Steve was like, you know, at this point, you know, because it's, it's a sixty dollar game. I was about to say it. He, he said, uh, you know, I, I, if I want to play Left 4 Dead, I think I'm just gonna go play Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Mm. Now, because he has Left 4 Dead, and we, not, and he has had exactly. Left 4 Dead. I've got both of them. On PC. Yeah. Now, I will say this: if you're on <coughs> PS5, you know you're kind of limited to Back for Blood because Left 4 Dead's not available yeah. on PlayStation. Right. Yeah. On it PC. is an option for you. So it is an option for people who are. Who but you know what else? The console. But you really don't need a power. Like Brandon can probably play Left 4 Dead on that PC. Now, right as there. as one of the cool things about our show, we talked about it before. One of the 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 selling points of this podcast. We're consumers. We're gamers. This is no this paid, is our hobby. No paid no one, yeah, here. no. If I go out and buy a game, it's with my hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna have to buy a game, I'm not. I'm not gonna go spend sixty dollars on this, like you said. I got finished when Steven said that. I said, you know what? This seems like a twenty dollars game to me. Yep. A twenty dollars purchase. Agree. I agree with that. A twenty dollars purchase for me. I agree with you there. Um, but 
you know, right now, I know this is trying to fill a certain spot in the marketplace, which is that co-op, mm-hmm. you know, uh, multiple, like, almost four-player co-op shooter, mm-hmm. PvE, zombies specifically. Mm-hmm. But World War Z's out there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's, 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 it's getting a new version of yep. itself. It's getting basically its own Looks expanded really and enhanced yeah. version. First person mode, all kinds of cool is new it features. DLC or is it I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Probably paid. Um, but it's got all kinds of new features. Yep. And you know what's next week? Aliens Fire Team. <sighs> and that is something that, that that is three players. That's only a three player game. Uh, but I am much more interested as someone who connects more with the Alien franchise. <laughs> and you know, I'd be willing to wait and hear that one out. And mm-hmm. that one, if it, if that game's cheaper just by default. That's already a way for me to, yeah. to want to give that yeah. my patron. That's a four dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. If if you're getting, <coughs> if you're getting this because you want that Left 4 Dead experience, just go play Left 4 Dead because you really. And in all honesty, I feel bad for Turtle Rock Studios because we can't really compare it to Left 4 Dead because it's not Left 4 Dead. It's I think I think life. I I think that if you want more Left 4 Dead, this is this is a good option if you're for you. Stuck, it, like if you want it yeah. and you want something that's not the old levels of Left 4 right. Dead. Like let's say you've played Left 4 Dead, you've you've fixed that whole dry yeah. like you you know everything about that game you need something new this is a this yeah. is for you this yeah. is for you i agree i agree with you there but i do want to caution people about it it's turtle rock studios yes they help to make left for dead but you run into these issues where valve holds a lot of the copyright and patents of the left for dead's features so like probably the director is going to be a different director in the game well i was gonna say that game and engine how much like that. of that original team is still, still with, with you yeah. know, like you gotta think about it. that was the problem with uh, ukulele, I exactly, believe. Yeah. When ukulele came out, everyone wanted this I new banjo. I kept thinking game. about ukulele when y'all keep when y'all keep talking yeah. about this the comparison. Yeah, because yeah. everybody wants everybody wanted a new banjo game. Everybody wanted and it to be banjo. How, it's a good game. It's just not banjo. It's, not banjo. it's just not banjo. Exactly. At the end of the day, and um, you can't you can't have it completely copied off of it because sure. you're gonna get sued out your britches. <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean, that's just the reality of it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's that your new title? I'm gonna sue you out your britches. Sue out, sue out your britches. But, but, but that's that's a legitimate point that I think people need to understand because a lot of people are gonna say, you know, they're gonna take Left 4 Dead and they're gonna take Back 4 Blood and they're gonna be like, these two need to be identical or I'm not playing it. And honestly, you're if you go into it with that mentality, you're already setting yourself up for a disaster because it's not gonna be Left 4 Dead. Hey. It's gonna be it's gonna improve on some things that Left 4 Dead does. Mm-hmm. It's gonna not be as good as some things that Left 4 Dead does. So you really need to go into there with that mentality. Yes, it'll itch that scratch, but no it's scratch that be, itch. It's, it's, sorry. It's <laughs> that itch, but it won't it won't it won't replace Strike it. Strike that, reverse it. Hey, who goes into Walmart when you want to buy Oreos and you buy the twist and shouts? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. You, but no, there, but you I do think, get that if they're out of order. I think there is um, an audience for this game. I do think there's an audience for this game. Mm-hmm. And I think that, you know, with this, you know, if you're a newest, latest, best kind of gamer, yeah. sure, go for it. Uh, but if you're someone like us and, you know, you pick, you have to pick and choose what games you want to play. Exactly. And, you know, I, as someone, and look, I love Left 4 Dead. Me and Steve played Left 4 Dead. Yeah, you know, we, I, I, I really I enjoyed. It. We used to get fussed by Janelle because we played over there and we'd be so damn loud because it's fun. I, I mean, we, Janelle would come in and be we like, used to. Have, oh, stop screaming. We, and and I wanted this. I mean, I had tempered Sorry, expectations. Janelle. I had tempered expectations, and even going into it, you know, I, I, I thought maybe I was in a mood. Maybe I was in a mode, right? I was yeah. like, maybe I just don't want to play games right now. No, because Seth felt the same way. Steve felt the same way, and I'm surprised because you feel the same way. Mm-hmm. We all feel the same way. But you know what? I will play it some more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll go back. I'd be willing to play. You know, sure. if you want to play? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm gonna. Pl- I'm, I'm gonna give it, give it a shot. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it some more. I'm not gonna force myself to like it, but uh, or Ooh, like it any more than I already do. Was this one of them games? Would you say this is one of them games where you give give us that classic Jacob quote where you're like, I'm just not playing this game. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm just. I'm just not. I'm just not doing. No, it. no, 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 no. no. Uh, I, I, again, my X factor is you guys. I love how you did the uh, no, X with your fingers. Suck it. Uh, uh, no, it was you guys, and I didn't have that, so I'm yeah. willing to give it a shot. Yeah. Um, because like, yeah, I don't want to keep we'll keep circling the, the yeah. drain yeah, here yeah, with yeah. the same thing we're saying. Um, can I talk about something that I played and picked up? I didn't. No. Bye. Fine, just fine. kidding, just kidding. No, what'd you, no uh, uh, what'd, you, what'd you pick up? What'd you pick up? Pokemon Unite. Tell me about all about this. Uh, okay, so let me start by saying I, I'm... 
familiar with MOBAs enough to understand lanes and understand some of the lingo. A mobile. Push, uh, a MOBA. A, 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 a multiplayer online a battle arena. Battle Correct. Arena. I've never gotten a League of Legends, and I've never gotten a Dota. Thank God. Thank you for keeping me away from that and protecting me and shielding me from that icky, toxic yeah, uh, yeah. realm. Uh, same. Um, but I loved uh, Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm. Because I, I, I was, is kind of a Blizzard fanboy. So, anyways, Pokemon Oof. Unite, I think. Does a God really great job. job. Does a really great job. If you're on that outside of the MOBA thing, like, mm -hmm. or if you like me and you don't really like RTSs, but you really love Pokemon, this is like a very good segue. Now, yeah, let me it's state, a really good way to get your feet into this. Wait, wait, was this game free? It's free. It's both. It is a. Mo it's a mobile. Free. It's a. Mo I think it's for mobile and for the Switch. Um, let me say that because it's free. I've been hearing things that there are some <coughs> some icky things in there, in that that some of the stuff in there can be pay to win. Uh, as far as I believe, like uh, I think maybe some of the Pokemon, you have, you have to. So it's, it, it's probably gonna be just like League of Legends. Probably. Where, so, where so there's you, like a, a selection of so, heroes. So it does exactly. Things. It does. Yeah. The, it does the, the weekly selection of hey, here's, here's the Pokemon that are free. Yeah. Here, they give you a free a couple of starters. Yeah. Um, and then you pick one, and then there is a uh, battle pass, and in the battle pass, which is the Nine Tails, the Alolan Nine Tails is where I got. Uh, um, Alolan, huh? Alolan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Man, I was. I didn't die that whole match. Oh, I wow. smoked. Face in that game. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of oh myself. God, he's turning into one of them. I was he turned into Chappelle for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Um, but uh, yeah, no. It so the goal is it, it still has the same thing. They change up the tower. So in a MOBA, you, you know, you're pushing lanes. There are little mini bad guys that you kill, and when you kill them, you collect points. Are those other Pokemon? Uh, yes, it's Pokemon. Tra trash Pokemon, Pokemon in the trash Pokemon in the wild. Tra yeah. trash what's Pokemon? the uh, what's the paw monkey paw from uh, Mankey? Uh, no, uh, uh, it's the, the one's got a little paw for oh, a tail. No, 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 Anyways. No, no, no. Um, he's trash. There's a, there, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, but what's really neat is, I mean, it's at the end of the day, if you're breaking a tower, but there's a goal, and if you stand in your goal, you'll heal. But if you go to their goal, when you collect, basically, when you kill a Pokemon or you kill a Poke, another player, they drop Pokeballs, and you collect them, and you come up and you just crazy slam dunk into their goal, and that's what breaks them. Wow. But you have to charge it up. So, like, I can be going, I can have, like, which I did at one point, but my team happened to be pushing down that lane. I had, like, 57 of those balls. Which, I don't know if you saw that that score. Like, I that did, 153, yeah. that wow. was all the Pokeballs that I wow. slammed wow. into goals. Awesome. So, I actually, I played so well. I was like, let me make sure these names are not, like, bot names. And I just play a bunch of bots, and I feel really good about myself. I was like, no, these are real people. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, also, I mean, I was going to say, if you're a Pokemon game, it's probably an introduction to this kind of gameplay style for kids as well. Yes. Yeah. But it does it has all you, the you may have been Billy Madison on the dodgeball field right oh. <laughs> very true exactly right but, but I was smoking I was slam yeah. dunking face and ki on kids <laughs> I don't want to take away too much credit. I mean, but no, but yeah yeah <laughs> but um but like I was saying like when you when I had those 50 balls um when if you when you go to slam you charge them up so you're very interruptible so you gotta uh, make sure there's no one around or your team's pushing past the goal gotcha. um but it does the MOBA trappings in that and which 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 I think filters are there really minions like other MOBAs like like MOBAs yeah Yes, but like you don't you don't like use them to push with you. Uh -huh. You're just killing other Pokemon to form their their uh, Pokeballs. Uh, so you're not like taking this. Um I don't know. The, what's the what's the Pokemon with the sombrero hat, the little grass type guy? Oh, I know you're talking about that. You don't you don't like capture him and then he tails you and goes and pushes lanes. Like, you just kill him. But certain killing certain ones will give you buffs. Maybe they'll <laughs> you give just you, kill him. You, sorry, you faint him. <laughs> uh, you, you make him faint. Him um, but um, but the, I think what's really cool, and this is the thing that I really enjoyed about it. So and, and Steve knows, and you know this. When the more you play, uh, which is the really cool thing about a MOBA, is the more you play that character as you play the match, the character levels up. Right, yeah. which is what I just mentioned about Back for Blood, and mm -hmm. you have these options to evolve your. But what do Pokemon do? They evolve. Yeah, so, nice. like, um, for example, what's what's the one that they, they were talking about? Charizard, uh, Charmander. Uh, is that the, that the? Forgive my mouth. Sorry. Which one? Yeah, that's the, Char the, Char the, Char the, little, the, the first phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah Charmander. Okay, Charmander is Char Charmander. Charmander. Charmander is extremely weak, and he sucks his first phase. So you kind of have to gr do some grinding, stay away, maybe stick by a healer or a defense guy. But once your Charizard, you wreck face. So I really it's just like the, the real game. Yeah. Like so it's really cool how they how Don't they they put the. Is it is this kind of the um the Pokemon uniqueness to 
this. Mm-hmm. That's okay. the Pokemon That's charm. Cool. It, because it's, you're, it's still a MOBA. You're still doing yeah. the MOBA thing. You're still leveling up. And like, okay, maybe you'll have a, a trigger, right trigger. You'll have a left, uh, right bumper that are skills. Like uh, Char, uh, Charizard does his little uh, fire uh, tornado thing that he charges forward. Um, you have an ultimate that you have to charge up. Um, but the evolution is really cool because you, you're, you know, I think yeah. that is a neat aspect that I don't know why they haven't done this before with Pokemon. Again, it's free, so it's got the trappings of, hey, you got to collect points. Yeah, you got to make their money somewhere. But, but you gotta, I understand, and, and that's forgivable because, like Brandon said, they got to make their money. Gotta, and it's free. Yeah. It, 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 it's the same exact I, I like to see Nintendo's little foray into these, like, free to play little style games. Yes. I'd like to see. Usually they're crap, but. No, this Like ones, that Kirby one? Oh, oh God, that was, a, that was a disappointment. Yeah. Golly, man. I'd like to see. I'd really like to see uh, more games take that endeavor whenever they want to do, like, esports. Like, I think that would be a really cool thing to see a lot of free-to-play games that are very competitive. Like, I'd like to see Smash Bros. adopt something like that Mm -hmm. for a competitive mode or something, because I feel like that way you get more people into it, and more people into it could be good for the competitive scene. Yeah, you get more people into it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, somebody made the good good, uh, a good comparison. Like, you know, you don't have to pay you don't have to pay 60 bucks to go out to, to practice basketball. You just get a basketball, basketball and, and, a, and a goal. Well, I guess you do, technically, if you need a goal. But, um, yeah. You know, you, you just, you know, if you want to practice like regular sports, you go get the ball and you practice the sports that way. Right. Whereas if you want to practice competitive gaming, you have to get a console, you have to get the game, you know, right. it's all that all that money, you know. If you, if all you those do, paywalls yeah. to jump and the hoops to jump and, through. And, and, and I really think that that's one of the good things about MOBAs, but I hate MOBAs. I don't like MOBAs. <laughs> and, and, and I downloaded it, League yeah. of Legends. I played once as Ash, the frozen archer and then i just I can't get into it man uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know i can't get into that universe i can't get into that game the gameplay style of it it's and not, i not. definitely can't get into the community i play heroes of stone so yeah anything. but if you then that's what i'm saying if you like pokemon not these days if you like pokemon i think this might scratch that itch a little bit because and it's it's Ooh, here's, here's the cool thing sorry of, uh, i didn't mean, uh, mean we, to mention we didn't say that the, there's a pokemon direct coming up yes about, oh, uh, okay uh, about diamond and diamond pearl, pearl and uh arceus when that um, That's like next week. But next uh, week. yeah, I, yeah, I, I want to check the indie showcase too because I think they had some pretty cool. Ooh, movies. that game Eastward we saw that we yeah. like It's coming out like in a month or so. Is it really? Okay, let's go back and look. I will say this, and I'll end with this. Problem with mo- one problem people have at moments aside from the toxicity, which I think this game will probably have a small, a small, small community of people that are like that. Mm-hmm. But most of all, I think it should be a friendly community. It's Pokemon, should be. Um, but you know, Just most of the neck beards. Yeah, there. exactly. Most mobas though, you know, take a long time. They're like ten minute matches. So oh, that's not, good. They're not too bad. Man, then freaking they jump in pretty oh, pretty quick. Man, some of the mobas I, I feel like take forever. That one I played last night went on for a bit, and it it was like seven minutes. Seven yeah. minutes. So it's pretty good. Nice. If uh, it's free. Go check it out. Speaking of Nintendo, I have been playing another game. I st- I restarted Breath of the Wild again. Oh, yeah. oh right. man! Uh, for lack of going on a, a three-hour tirade <laughs> on why Breath Gush, of the Wild Gush is one fest. of the best games ever made, that game's just so good. It's just so good. And by the way, my son's shooting a laser I was blaster. About to say, we, uh, it, sounds like, it sounds like we got contact yeah, on the other side. We're shooting a laser blaster. Uh, but no, that game is so dang good, man. It's so good. Yeah, I, I can't. I can hardly find anything to complain about with that game. Yeah. Uh, but I guess we'll wrap up. I know yeah, it's a shorter, go. shorter episode, but you know, we, we want to eat some pizza. Uh, so here's your trivia card answers. Uh, if you wait to the end of the show, yeah. we have our two trivia questions. First question. How many colossi has Wander tasked with defeating in Shadow of the Colossus? Anyone want to wager wanna, a guess? I want to guess there are 12. 13? There are 16. Jeez, dang it. Okay, and develop. This one. Second question. Developed by Rare, which side scrolling beat em up game was uh-huh. released in 1991 in response to the popularity of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh, is it Lost Vikings? It is Battletoads. Battletoads. Wait, no, Lost Vikings is Blizzard. I'm stupid. Battletoads. Battle ah! Yeah, ah! Battletoads. And, and as soon as you ah! said it, I was like, Battletoads. You know, it's not, you know, the, totally off topic here. Okay. It's not until you realize how much, um, <laughs> it's not until something like what's happening now that you realize how much Blizzard stuff was really good <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. Because we've, we've mentioned it like five yeah. times on this show. Yeah. And, um. I'll bring you Snapchat when you get it in. Uh, but anyways... Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoy the show, please share with other like-minded individuals. You have our RSS feed. Anything we post will be here. Mm-hmm. Share it with your mom. Share it with your sister. Share it with your pet. Share it with your rabbi. Share it with the ice cream if man. You play the, if you play the back Shalom. for blood data, what, yeah. what, what do you think? What do you think oh, about you, it? You what write, do you think? If you write in anything to Lil Jolly Gamer Show at gmail.com, once again, we'll Lil, talk about it. Lil Jolly Gamer Show at gmail.com, 
I'm gonna read it. Yeah. Except for on this show because I forgot to check it before we started. Yeah. <laughs> one last thing. One last thing. Um, <coughs> a while back we were talking about the GameCube episode, and I know we like asked for some viewer input. That 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 is gonna come soon. Yo, we have a really good that episode planned good. for that. Whenever that comes, we were supposed to record. Things happened. We'll talk about it some other time. Thanks for so much for listening. I'm Brandon. I'm Jacob. I'm Steven. Shalom. Shalom.